2024 GOP candidates did what they would expect them to do over Independence Weekend. They hit the campaign trail in early voting states as they tried to close the gap with former President Trump. Well, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis powered through the rain as he marched, maybe trudged through a parade in Merrimack, New Hampshire. DeSantis, like all the rest of the Republican field not named Trump, is far behind the former president. But he's trying to catch up, that is to say DeSantis, and so is Mike Pence and others who are either in Iowa or New Hampshire. For more, CBS News elect chief election and campaign correspondent Robert Costa joins us now. So uh, former President Trump trashed DeSantis, said he had small crowds, low energy, really doing damage in 2028. Did DeSantis trip and fall in New Hampshire, or is this just part of the process of trying to get some momentum going in the hot summer days? Oh, it's a hot summer day, so you don't want to read too much into what happens yeah. in the summer ahead of a presidential campaign. DeSantis needs to be in New Hampshire. You better be Because there. Iowa's so crowded. Mm -hmm. I mean, former Vice President Mike Pence and a slew of others are making Iowa their play with religious voters, conservative voters. A lot of them will be there later next week. So if you're DeSantis, who has a little bit of a libertarian streak, mm -hmm. at least his libertarian appeal, I've met with some of his supporters in New Hampshire, and they're very much of that school of the GOP. He needs to make sure that they stay rallied around him, that he stays engaged, and he's he's shaking hands. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about some information that you gathered over the long holiday weekend relevant to Hunter Biden and Denver Riggleman, a name that people in our audience might remember having been associated with the January 6th committee in the House. What can you tell us? Well, he was also on 60 Minutes. Yes, he was. He's among a, other places, he's yes. He's had a, a, a wandering political yes. career. He was a member of the House for one term from mm -hmm. the Charlottesville area, Virginia a Republican. Then he became a member of the January 6th committee as a senior technical advisor. He has become a fierce critic of, of former President Trump. And now he's working with Hunter Biden as a data analyst. Why, is, why does this matter to anyone? Right. Because it's the next incarnation of the Hunter Biden story. Hunter Biden's now had a plea agreement that's still being finalized mm -hmm. with the federal investigation of him and his handling of a firearm and, and other misdemeanor issues, that's moving toward being settled. What's not settled is the congressional side of the Hunter Biden story. Congress, House Republicans in particular, still looking into Hunter Biden, the Biden family, their finances, and they're using this laptop that was found at a Delaware repair shop in 2019 as the onus of so much of what they're doing in the House GOP. And so Riggleman's role in a very roundabout way, I know that's a lot there, <laughs> is to look at this laptop material and assess it for the Hunter Biden team to not just take the House Republicans' word for everything. Right. And if there's any way through the information found there, pierce any holes, if possible, in the narrative Republicans are trying to present about what the laptop says about Hunter Biden and his conduct. Riggleman's looking to see if there's any distortion of information, fabrication, really looking at the data to see if it's all accurate. So I want to get your thoughts on the cocaine in the White House story in the sense that. In the sense of what, Major? This afternoon, this afternoon. <laughs> I don't know how much I could The two offer leading this. Republican candidates for the nomination in 2024, Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis, have weighed in. Trump on Truth Social with what I think might be more fairly described as an episode, not a post suggested that Jack Smith is a crackhead, the special pr prosecutor, and that this is absolutely cocaine. The only reason it's there is for Hunter and for Joe Biden. And Ron DeSantis said the Biden administration has been blowing it on a lot of fronts. So they're not shy about jumping in on this and try to politicize it immediately. Your general thoughts on that? Yeah, July has come in like a lamb in terms of the news cycle. <laughs> the fact that <laughs> Denver Riggleman joining the Hunter team, mm -hmm. now cocaine found at the White House. These are dominating our conversations. I don't think this will have any effect on the presidential campaign. Republicans are always going to look for any kind of fodder to go after President Biden or ask questions mm -hmm. about the security of the White Raise House. Raise doubts. Raise doubts and insinuate different things. I've seen conservative uh, personalities on Twitter having a bit of a feast with this. But at the, look, I'm just a reporter. Mm -hmm. I've seen you see these issues come up all the time in presidential campaigns, kind of the thing of the day. But it has no until we see more evidence or reporting on it, no connection to President Biden. And so it will fade quickly. That is my expectation, unless something changes on that front. And that will require reporting and verification, as always. Robert, real quickly, before we let you go, we're about a month out of the first scheduled Republican presidential debate, and late last week into the weekend, there were some questions of whether Trump would even show. I still don't believe he's going to show based on my conversations with his friends and associates, mm -hmm. his advisors. They don't see the upside. If he shows up, he's a target. If he doesn't show up, 
he remains the front runner. Maybe and he doesn't takes get strong a lot ratings. of the air out of the room if he's not there. Though it, knowing Trump, he loves the element of surprise. Mm-hmm. He could decide last minute if the political winds are blowing in a certain way to show up. Mm-hmm. Real quickly, secondarily, if Trump doesn't show, does DeSantis? I, I, if you, I don't see how you don't show up right. at this point. If you're not named Trump, you got to You need go. the political oxygen. I don't care if you don't love the, the dynamic. Robert Costa, as always, we thank you. Thank you.